Hello Terrapins and College Survivor Enthusiasts, today I'm talking about the pre-merge of Survivor Maryland Terrapin Trials, the third season. Uh, it's a fun one, it's really interesting, I really like this pre-merge and I really like this whole season, um, so I'm going to get into all that. Um, the first slide, after this title slide of course, is going to be talking about the, um, you know, just as a whole, in short, why I really like this season, and then I'll get into, you know, the tribes, the pre-game relationships, then, you know, each episode and I'll go through what happens and, you know, talk about why I like everything that's happening and why it's all fun and enjoyable, and I'm very excited to do it. Um, but before the meat of the season, or pre-merge, the short version of why I like the season as a whole. Uh, this season has alliances within alliances and alliances within those alliances. Now that's with both tribes in the pre-merge, there's a lot going on. The dynamics are fun and interesting. A very different vibe and feeling from the previous season for sure. I think lines are more clear cut. Um, it's a smaller cast too, which I think helps that uh, be the case. But uh, the alliances that we will see and the dynamics we'll see are pretty interesting to get into. Um, and, you know... Even when we get into the merge, it's still pretty interesting and fun, and there's a lot going on. Uh, it gets, you know, gets exciting. Uh, a few key players have really fun or intense arcs, uh, or both, <laughs> I should say. Um, there are some players that go out early in memorable ways, or they just are memorable players, and there are some that go far and are very memorable for good and bad reasons, uh, which kind of leads into the, the next point, which is... The season, uh, and this is at the end, not really in the pre-merge at all, um, but at the end of the post-merge, it gets kind of dark, and um, the ending, like the way things kind of break down towards the end of the season, it kind of works as a very good example of how intense this game can be uh, in this format, because people, you know, they're not just playing a game, they're still going to college, and there are like outside of game relationships uh, between players and other people that make things a little complicated and that kind of comes to a head in the season um, in a, a sad way like an uncomfortable way but it's interesting and um, I think worth you know getting into and talking about it and my watch just went off my move goal went up even though I'm sitting down um, but yeah, it's it, it does get intense in a way that can be uncomfortable, but it's still interesting and worth talking about. And um, I think, yeah, like I said, good example of how this game can be very complicated. Um, and I want to reiterate, despite that being the case, this is very important. The last point's always the most important. There's a lot of fun throughout the season and some absolute icons, both for gameplay reasons. There's some big players, quiet players that make big moves. And um, very fun and verbose players that do crazy things. And it's super fun and exciting to watch it. And I'm very, very, very excited to talk about it. Uh, but let's kick off the pre-merge with our tribes. First off, we have Rafiki. Um, I should also say, these are not the initial tribes. Uh, <laughs> we had uh, tribe leaders who get swapped. Um, I'll get into that. But the tribes that we have after that, like... The ones we have going into the challenges, kicking off the season, we have Alex, Eric, Kane, Matt, Maria, Marissa, Sabrina, and Sierra. And apologies to Sierra if my uh, webcam <laughs> face and all that is blocking her. Uh, but you'll see her in the other slides. It'll be okay. And same with Faluke there. Uh, Hukatana, we have Charlie, Zach, Terry, Harry, Katie, Holly, Victoria, and Faluke. So those are two tribes. Some pre-game relationships, and uh, I probably said this on the previous season, there are some that I'm sure I've missed, uh, <laughs> but the important relationships will be spoken about regardless, but just some um, clear ones, Harry and Katie are best friends, they also know Holly and Zach, they play Quidditch together, Quidditch is a sport at the University of Maryland, I don't know what they do, I didn't look into it really, but it's, you know, it gets brought up here and there. So it's important to know. Uh, Victoria and Faluke are friendly. They live on the same floor. Uh, Sabrina and Katie are friends. Um, Sabrina's cast photo had Katie in it, and I cropped it out so it wouldn't be confusing on that 
uh, slide, but important to know. Um, and Maria, Alex G, and Matt know each other. I think they all also live on the same floor. And I think Eric also is a, a Quidditch player, so he knows Harry, Katie, Holly, and Zach. But those are some. I'm sure I missed some as well. But as we get into the season, it'll all kind of shake out in a way that is easy to understand regardless of this. But I just wanted to talk about it. There are always going to be some in these college survivor seasons, you know. It's part of the part of the f- fun and intrigue, and you know, yeah. <laughs> Moving on, the uh, actual kickoff. So Austin asks for two players to step forward as leaders. Harry and Sierra um, end up being the leaders and draft the tribes. One interesting thing that I did include here is that Feluke initially stepped forward, and then when Harry was stepping forward, she was kind of wishy-washy, and the reason is that she wanted to be on Harry's tribe, which I thought was funny. Um, but Harry and, Harry and Sierra are the leaders. They pick their tribes, and after bonding and naming themselves, uh, Austin throws them a curveball and says, all right, you leaders, uh, you're going to swap tribes, but you can take one person with you. So Sierra takes Eric as someone who's like, you know, big guy, probably going to be good in challenges, and Harry picks Katie, who is his bestie. Um, and like the previous season, our first challenge is Steal the Bacon, College Survivor Classic, which Rafiki wins. Um, notably, only Feluke wins her heat for Hukatana, and I believe she also knees or elbows uh, poor Marissa in the chest. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Marissa. Uh, moving on. So some first impressions on Hukatana. Feluke and Victoria talk about Harry. Uh, I put uh, Feluke and Victoria. I believe this is just from Feluke. He's like on coke, but in a good way. Just talking about how he has a lot of energy. Uh, that opinion might change. Harry and Katie think Feluke is hilarious. Charlie feels in danger for doing poorly in the challenge. Um, he walks off with Harry after the challenge, who is... Uh, and confessional talks about being nervous being associated with the guy that he thinks will probably be in the most danger which is funny and smart of terry um terry and zach meet up zach wants to target charlie holly and terry have the same conversation you know let's target charlie and um a five comes together with a plan to vote out charlie and it's holly harry katie zach and terry so the quidditch players and terry (laughs) um Feluke and Victoria, they talk about how their tribe is split between the Quidditch team, which again is a thing at UMD, and LB2, which is a building <laughs> that the, some of the players live in, um, and the irrelevant parentheses S, which I believe was just Charlie, um, but in case I misremembered, I put the apostrophe not apostrophe s parentheses s um feluke says that it's charlie and then katie because this isn't hogwarts um part of that is you know let's weaken harry harry's harry's gonna be the leader all right but we don't want him having all the power and it splits up quidditch uh in confessional victoria talks about liking feluke but says her personality could get her targeted feluke big personality can bring attention to you good and bad attention Zach meets up with them, and they form an alliance, which he tells to Terry, um, and they kind of agree to make it a four. uh, It's a loose four in the early days, but it's something that's being talked about early on. Fluke wants Katie out now. Zach pushes Charlie as a target. Since he has no allies, it's easy. It keeps the tribe together. Zach, in confessional, reveals that the best thing about booting Charlie is that it lets him keep all of his alliances. He's He doesn't have to backstab anyone if he gets out Charlie. So, yeah. First tribal. Uh, there's some chatter about the leaders, the draft, the swap. Austin gives Fluke credit for being the only member of the tribe to score a point in the challenge. Charlie talks about the other tribe. Um, I don't even remember what he says, but it's just the way he's speaking as Fluke goes. He's so eloquent. <laughs> And then she also talks about how great Holly is. One important thing with Feluke, um, big personality, draws a lot of attention, but also, like, very complimentary. Ow. I think someone just bit me. Uh, <laughs> um, I hope that's not a bad omen. But Feluke, very complimentary uh, a lot of the time. It's nice. At the booth, um, she writes Charlie's name and says, you're on top of it. You don't need us, which is very funny. Charlie gets out 
uh, unanimously, he put his vote on Holly. So it's easy, set him up, knock him down kind of boot. Uh, they didn't, no one rock, rocked the boat in getting out Katie. Zach kind of gets high his alliances. The Quidditch people stay together, uh, Fluke and Victoria. Um, could potentially be in danger, but they have something with Zack and Terry, so it's still kind of up in the air early on, like, who's truly in control of the tribe? I think it's, I think no one is the proper answer, but uh, Charlie, easy first boot, easy out, so yeah. <laughs> I forgot about this. He, uh, when he's voted out, like, each player pays, like, I think it's $10 to play the game, um, and the winner, I think, gets 100 Um but uh, he asks if he can get his money back, which he does. <laughs> uh, episode two. So Fluke has a confessional about how close everyone seems after the vote. Unanimous vote, I think, early on is always a good thing. If you actually like your tribe, it's just easy to be like, we did that together. No one turned on each other. We're a family. Always nice. Um, Maria talks to Alex G and Matt. Eric says the main alliance is himself. Sierra, Sabrina, Maria, and Marissa, with Sierra being the most expendable. Um, Eric and Maria hang out, and she doesn't want to talk strategy, which makes him think that it's a date, but she has a boyfriend. Um, what I love about this, um, and this was one thing that I thought of, was uh, there's a Survivor Michigan player that very successful in Survivor Michigan, and one of his strategies was that he liked to meet up with people and not talk game, just connect with them on a personal level. Helps bring you closer, helps, you know, build up trust and familiarity. And I just like Eric being like, well, she didn't want to start talk strategy, obviously it's a date. Oh, but she has a boyfriend. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, it's just a normal thing to want to hang out with somebody. Um, and Mar Maria talking with Alex G and Matt is just, they live on the same floor. There's already some familiarity there, so let's touch base, maybe kind of build something up. But um, at the challenge meetup, Austin goes, Maria, are you surprised Charlie was the one who voted out? Not at all, no. <laughs> the uh, challenge itself is the blindfold collar thing. Uh, I think it's blind, leading the blind. I probably did this last, um, uh, in the season two presentation where I was like, wait, is, what's the name of the challenge? And I will probably do it every other time it's in any college survivor. Um, notable thing is that the caller of the challenge, we'll get it, I no clue. Um, Hukatana wins immunity, so now both tribes will have gone to tribal council after this episode. Pretty cool. Maria feels responsible for losing the challenge. Um, we have a lot of confessionals about how Harry is loud. Uh, Sabrina has a confessional about how she caused awkward conversations. Um, it was just, she made Maria and Sierra uncomfortable, like in a tribe meeting or lunch or whatever. Um, I won't go into specifics because it's not really important. Uh, it's not super important, like the specifics of it, but just, just that she made them uncomfortable. But in short, I don't think Sabrina said anything crazy. She is just a PG-13 college student, and they are PG college students, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> if you're interested, go watch the season, what you should do anyways. <laughs> but Sabrina did nothing wrong, I want that very clear. Anyways, uh, Marissa, Sabrina, Sierra, and Eric discuss booting Matt. Sabrina says Eric needs to pull Kine in to break up a potential alliance. Could end up getting their tribe split if um, Marie is not with them. So Eric and Kine talk and agree to boot out Matt. Um, I think Kane also has confessionals about like, yeah, I really trust Eric. And Eric has confessionals about like, yeah, I'm really playing Kane, which is always fun. Uh, Maria, Matt, and Alex, they want Sabrina out. Sierra says she's in the middle, um, which is interesting. Will we have a split vote on this tribe after unanimous one on the last? Who knows? I do. <laughs> they talk about the captains in the swap at tribal, Maria and Alex. Living on the same floor comes up. Nothing super crazy. Uh, you know, the, uh, not not every tribal needs to be complicated. But let's get into the votes. So, we have three on Sabrina. Five on Matt. And that's it. <laughs> I thought I would have written more. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Matt, Alex, and Maria voted Sabrina. But everyone else, including Sierra and Kane, voted for Matt. So, a majority seemingly has come together... And Matt 
goes home. Moving on. Episode 3. Uh, Sierra told Maria ahead of Tribal that Matt was going, and Maria now thinks Eric's a liar and is pulling all the strings on their tribe, while Sierra feels safe and in the middle. Interesting. Off the jump, we have a divided tribe. Uh, Eric, Merce, and Sabrina meet up and talk about Maria. Sabrina says they're the Homewrecker Alliance, uh, referencing uh, Eric's not date slash... I should have air-quoted and said date. Eric's meet up with Maria. Um, <laughs> it's a funny name for the lights, though. I like that. He's not a homewrecker, though. Uh, Eric, t well, to my knowledge, Eric tells them he trusts Kinney enough, but mentions that Sierra's talking to Maria. Um, so that's important. Divided tribe, seem possibly two players in the middle. Uh, Zach wants a cross tribal alliance with Sabrina after bumping into her. He learns that she's with Eric and Marissa. Could be important down the line. Maria pitches Sabrina to Kine. They all awkwardly do confessionals around the same time. It's like Sabrina, a lot of confessionals are filmed in Austin's dorm room. So Sabrina's filming, and I think it's like when she comes out, she bumps into Maria and Kine. She knows Maria wants her out. <laughs> she knows Kine might want her out. So it's just like an awkward, like, all right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the challenge is cold pursuit. It's like hot pursuit, but it's snowing. Uh, I, I don't live in a snowy state uh, in the U.S. Unfortunately, I used to. I miss the snow. Although when I go to places where it snows, I'm like, ah, do I miss it? None of that was important. Sorry. Uh, Hukatana wins immunity. Uh, notably, Sabrina fell during the challenge, which helped Hukatana win. Had to do with the boots that she wore. Um, I think they had like little heels in them or something like that. I don't remember the specifics, just that her boots did not help her in this challenge. Uh, Victoria says Rafiki has made it, ha not has made it, has had it easy, but the next vote is going to be tough. Talking about, you know, someone's going to have to portray somebody, uh, someone could be blindsided, that sort of thing. Victoria and Faluke are still building things up with Zach and Terry. Uh, more of that Alliance of Four potentially fully coming together. Uh, instead of just being like talked about kind of without all four of them together. Eric asks Sierra who she wants out and she says Sabrina. Eric, Marissa, Kinei, and Sabrina meet up and he pitches Sierra. Uh, Kinei I think pushes back initially but notably uh, Eric tells Kinei that Sierra's targeting him being Kinei. Will Kinei believe it? Do you believe it? He shouldn't. <laughs> He's lying. He just made it up. <laughs> All right, uh, Tribal Council. Marissa is sick, so she attends Tribal Council via FaceTime. Uh, Maria calls out the sides. Eric, Marissa, Sabrina, then her, Sierra, and Alex, and she says Kanae is in the middle. Maria is gunning hard for Sabrina. They really get into the challenge. Sabrina brings up the blindfold challenge. A lot of shots being thrown back and forth. Uh, specifics are not necessary here. Um, but at the vote, what is going to happen? Sabrina, Sierra, Sabrina, Sabrina, three one so far in Sabrina, Sierra, Sierra, so we're three three with one vote left, and Sierra's voted out. Sierra, who was in a good spot at the start and was the leader, voted out here in episode three. Pretty wild. Um, went from someone in the middle to someone on the clear side. Just done and out. It's kind of surprising that it's not Maria, but it's a little more interesting that she's still in the game. But uh, yeah, Sabrina sur survives. Uh, it's another <laughs> another round of gameplay where <laughs> she's been, you know, the minority alliance's target, having, what, three votes against her last time, three votes here, so we'll see how that keeps on, on going. Um, so, in episode 4 we have a confessional reel about all the heat at Tribal from Sabrina, Maria, Eric, just all talking about, like, that was something. Uh, Alex questions Kanae about his vote and explains with a chart how booting Sabrina was Kanae's best move. Um, I believe it's about how, like, it puts Kanae in a middle spot, uh, and I think the logic of what Alex was trying to tell Kanae makes sense, but, like, how does telling him this now help? I don't know. Anyways, uh, Eric and Marissa idol hunt, but nothing gets found. It's mostly important just because Eric talks in confessional about him and Marissa are really 
getting close and he thinks she's cute, which that doesn't play a role. But Eric and Mercer are tight. That's important to know. Fluke gave it Tori and Zach are talking again about an alliance with Terry. It'll keep coming up. Uh, the challenge is egg balancing and tossing, which Hukatana wins. Victoria has a confessional about how Holly's in the know when it comes to the other tribe and mentions, and this is something that Holly talks about in a meeting that I think we get to see, but um, Holly has friends on the other tribe and knows that Maria and Alex are in danger. So Holly seems to have eyes and ears everywhere and Victoria is a little, uh, you know, a little nervous about it. Not nervous, but on top of knowing that, I guess. Anyways. Uh, Zach tells Terry in their alliance of four that Terry is number four and that maybe they should consider flipping, which is interesting. Uh, you love to see that off the jump. Uh, Terry has a confessional about how Zach is Tyson and he is, he pronounces his name wrong. Uh, he says, I think he says Jervis. His name is Jarvis. Or maybe I'm saying it wrong. Um, regret, it doesn't matter. Uh, Zach is Tyson. He's Jervis. Blood versus Water, I guess, was airing at the time, and or finished airing. And Terry knows that eventually he will have to turn on Zach if he wants to win. Basically, like he knows Zach's the bigger player out of them too. Terry's a Terry's a sociable guy, but he's a quiet guy. He's got a lot going on, you know. That'll come up here and there. Um, anyways, Zach gets an idol clue during the challenge and goes idol hunting. And after a while, he's hunting in the dark. And he finds an idol. So that's notable. First idol found of the season. Alex and Maria talk about winning Sabrina. Kanae seems on board this time. Uh, Eric, Kanae, and Marissa have a meeting where Kanae tells them he wants Sabrina out, but they push back and he says he's loyal, or she's loyal, and Maria isn't. Uh, Alex does some work to try and pit Sabrina against Eric and Marissa in hopes of splitting votes. Um, he's like, look, they're meeting with um, Kanae now, like that sort of thing, and uh, they're targeting you or something like that and Sabrina at first was nervous and then just like to talk to Eric and Marissa like hey Alex is saying this and they're like no <laughs> like she has a confession about like communication is important a lot it's like something along those lines uh, but kudos to Alex for trying something kudos to Sabrina for knowing better and checking in with her crew anyhow tribal council we have some chatter about Sari Sari <laughs> At the time of recording this, uh, Big Brother 25 has started airing, and I've got Suri on my mind, because how could you not? Uh, they talk about the Sierra boot, they talk about Sabrina being a target over and over and over. Uh, Kane says winning matters, and that they need to get rid of the weakest link. Reinforcing, let's be good at challenges. Maria votes Sabrina, Sabrina votes Maria, no surprise there. Kane seems torn at the booth, though. And the votes end up being Sabrina, Maria, Sabrina, Maria, so two, two. Maria, Sabrina, it's a tie. In a tribe of six, we have three, three. And on the revote, Kane flips his vote and Maria goes home. So Kane initially voted for Sabrina, hoping, I guess, that Eric or Marissa would flip, but. So we'll get into here. Uh, Kanae flipped to avoid rocks. He knew that Eric and Marissa were going to be loyal to Sabrina, so he flipped his vote. Maria, it's no surprise she went home there, uh, in, at least to me. Um, but, you know, in a divided tribe, she was just not in the numbers. And, you know, what are you going to do? What can be done? Uh, so Kanae flipped to avoid rocks. That's how that shakes out. It's weird to surprise another tribal. Um, Holly has a confessional about how Hare and Katie are clear to. She knows that she's three and that Zach is four. She talks with Faluke. Um, they both don't want Harry making the merge. Uh, he's a big physical threat. Um, and they also talk about wanting to do an all girls thing. There's a lot of like Faluke. Every, every Faluke Holly confessional we get together is just them being happy and uh, talking about how great each other is. And it's very nice. <laughs> I think Fluke, uh, Holly brings up the all girls thing, and Fluke is like, I was gonna bring up an all girls thing. It's just like, you know, very wholesome survivor alliance building. You love to see it. Um, anyways, the challenge is running to different sides of a field with a decreasing number of feet. Uh, it's hard to explain, uh, but basically, like, 
the first run across the field is like, okay, 10 feet on the ground, so everyone can run, everyone has two feet, so whatever. You have five people run, that's 10. And then on the, the next run, like, someone would have to hop, um, so it's nine feet. That's the best way I can explain it. Anyways, Rafiki wins immunity, so Hukatana is going back to tribal. Uh, Rafiki brags a lot, and H Hukatana is not happy. They're like, were we like this? We weren't like this. Um... <laughs> I forgot about these title slides. Alex told them to suck it. He does tell them to suck it, which is a little crazy. Um, Faluke shares that Eric was voted best couple in high school with his twin sister. Um, <laughs> I almost didn't clue this, but I think it's important because we get some thoughts on Faluke. Uh, it's important to kind of keep bringing up, you know, what's everyone thinking about each other? Well... Harry has a confession about how Fluke needs to focus with her trash talking. Holly says Fluke is scary and scrappy and she would be scared to go against her. And Zach says he supports Fluke's ideas, just not always her words. So, some positive and concerning feedback about Fluke from her tribe, but you know. Uh, no one can deny that she's a team player. Uh, there's a tribe meeting that Terry misses where they end up talking about targeting Terry, but uh, nobody actually wants to target Terry here. Um, very quickly, we get Harry and Katie talking about how they want Victoria out. They think she's the weakest link in the challenges. Victoria wants Katie out, says it splits up a tight pair and weakens Harry. Um, Victoria and Faluke are nervous about Zach getting with Harry and Katie, though. There's, there's still the Quidditch connection. They don't know for sure if Zach is with them or not. Um, Holly, Faluke, and Zach talk. The plan is for everyone to vote Katie except Holly, so Harry doesn't feel isolated. Um, Holly gets to hide her vote and allegiance that way. <laughs> uh, Zach's worried that booting Victoria gives the Quidditch Alliance too much power, but he also thinks Katie's one of the stronger girls. So. Holly and Faluke are nervous that Zach isn't with them. Uh, Zach and Holly question each other before the vote. It's very funny. They're like in the dorm room, like pointing fingers at each other. Like, I don't know if I can trust you. I don't know if I can trust you. Um, which is funny because I think they're more than anyone else. They're the most in the middle of this tribe. Uh, so they have the most at stake here. It's kind of fun. Uh, Anyhow, at Tribal, they talk about being safe for a few rounds. Faluke says she felt invincible. Katie says that no matter who goes, to know that they all love them, which is so sweet. Could it be her, though? <laughs> um, Terry is worried he has a target for not making the challenge. At the booth, Faluke says, if they're not thinking about this, well, I am. I need this hunted. And I love saying hunted. The votes are in. Terry, Victoria, Victoria, Katie. And the first Katie, she makes a face. She's surprised to get a vote. Katie, Terry, so right now it's 2-2-2 two, 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 with the one vote left. We went from unanimous 7-1 to a 3-2-2. Two, two. Katie's voted out in a 3-2-2 the two to two vote at the second tribal council this tribe goes to. Absolutely bonkers. Katie's out of the game. Harry's mad. Katie, uh, her only crime... <laughs> well, her... Her, really, the main reason she goes out is just because she's friends with Harry. But, uh, yeah. So, big, big split right here. Um, Terry, the Terry votes came from Zach and Holly, so they both end up hiding their allegiance. Faluke, Terry, and Victoria voted for Katie, and then Katie and Harry voted for Victoria. So, very interesting. I love this vote. I love a good split. Moving on. Harry's upset and walks off qu quickly. I th almost read that qu as quietly and was like, well, that's not right. <laughs> Faluke has a confessional about saying that, um, you know, they were trying to blindside Victoria and now Harry's, you know, he's mad at them, even though he was trying to blindside her, but he got blindsided with Katie going. Um, but also notes, you know, now he's going to have to try harder in challenges because he knows he could be next. Um, Holly and Zach voted for Terry to hide their allegiance. Harry still trusts them. Victoria and Terry touch base. They discuss Harry being bitter and targeting her and Faluke. Faluke talks about being good with Victoria, Terry, and Holly. Says Zach is flaky. Um, now I wrote being good with Victoria and Terry. I think the actual words were, has Victoria in her back pocket 
Terry too. I love Holly. I have Zach, but he's flaky. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, so it's not as clear cut as I wrote it out, but you know, Fluky has a lot of allies. It's important to say. Uh, Fluky and Victoria idol hunt together, and very quickly, Fluky finds an idol. Austin sits her down and tells her that she actually found the Rafiki tribe idol, which she can still keep and use it. Uh, it's just important to let her know, which also important for the audience to know. So we know Zach has an idol. Now we know Faluke has one. There are no idols for the Rafiki players. Faluke has got one and Zach has one. We have um, an amazing Faluke quote. Right now, I'm still feeling like Beyonce. You know, look at her. I could only help to feel like Beyonce. Moving on. The tribe swap. Uh, new Hukatana consists of Holly, Harry, Marissa, Eric, Faluke, and Alex. So even split. Uh, but, you know, Harry's kind of iffy with Faluke. He's annoyed at her. Uh, Alex has not voted with Eric or Marissa once. He's only voted against Sabrina. And on the new Rafiki tribe, we have Victoria, Sabrina, Zach, Kane, and Terry. So it's not an even split. Um, old Hukatana has the majority there, and it's only five members um but the challenge is apache relay the uh, one that from season two that c2 world block two it's like uh you know all different kinds of components um i believe if my memory serves correctly okay the, i'm looking at the picture of austin up there and i can see it in his face so uh it's raining during this challenge and austin says more like apache rain lay and they all groan uh but it's funny. Anyways, um, New Hukatana wins immunity. So, Victoria, Sabrina, Zach, Kane, and Terry will be going to Tribal Council. And also, that's uh, Faluka with her immunity idol, because, you know, uh, we're in space here. What are you going to do? But these are the new tribes, too. Just a picture of them, which... Um, <laughs> the, new, the new Hukatana, you know... One of them is Holly. One of them is Harry. <laughs> but... I tried my best to get pictures for these things, okay? Moving on. Uh, <laughs> Eric is happy with the swap tribe, but is nervous for Sabrina and Kane. He knows it's kind of, per you know, it's easy to get them out there. Faluke is nervous about swapping with Harry. Kane wants to target Terry, Sabrina as well. Um, Sabrina says she talked about booting Terry before with Zach and mentions a, a lot of her reasoning is that Terry and Victoria are more quiet people, more awkward people, not in a bad way, but just like, you know, they're not as outgoing as everyone else, so it makes it harder to, you know, get with them early. Terry and Victoria talk about sticking together and picking off Sabrina and Kanae, and Zach is considering flipping um, to get into what he thinks will be a bigger alliance come the merge, but he doesn't fully trust Sabrina. What is that title? So which one of them is Monica? <laughs> is that? <laughs> oh, because uh, Terry thinks that him and Zach are Jervis and Tyson. I should I could have just left it and not explained it, but I, I saw it right as I was switching slides and was like, what, what did I write that for? Anyways. <laughs> uh, at Tribal, Victoria says she likes this tribe more and has enjoyed getting no Sabrina and Kane. Terry says it's hard to trust new people, and Sabrina and Kane talk about swapping in as a minority. And when discussing the challenge, very notably, Terry says it sucks to be shit. That's fair. I don't think they're shit, though. They're all great. The votes are in. Sabrina, Sabrina. Terry, Terry. One vote left. It's Sabrina. Yeah. Uh, you know, Sabrina, um... It's kind of tragic to lose her this early. I, I loved just how... You know, like, the... the perspective from the players in the minority on their original Rafiki trap was that, like, Eric's pulling all the strings. But, like, Sabrina, like, Marissa and, and Eric were close. Like, they were all, all three of them were close, Eric, Marissa, and Sabrina. But Sabrina, I think, did a lot of work to, with Eric, because, like, it was so, e like, she was being targeted every try, but, like, it would have been easy for Eric to flip. Um, but he didn't, and I would give Sabrina some credit for it. She survived every tribal before this as the main target um always had her name written down and always knew it too and um yeah it sucks to lose her like this she got unlucky in the swap and um tragic to lose her pretty much she's very funny uh very quick-witted always fun in the confessionals pretty goofy so yeah 
Everybody else so far, you know, they're fine. Sabrina's a little better. Moving on. <laughs> episode 7, which I believe is the last episode of the pre-merge. Uh, Eric was sad to lose Sabrina. He's a little wary of how tight Victoria Terry and Zach are. Holly pitches or pitch throwing a challenge to Feluke, uh, but she doesn't want to risk her life. <laughs> Feluke's nervous, especially with Harry on their tribe. Uh, Marissa tries bringing Alex into an alliance with her and Eric. They talk about targeting Feluke or Harry. Um, Feluke has a confession about how, you know, she's seen a necklace in Zach's room that kind of looks like an idol. So naturally, she breaks into Zach's room and swipes the necklace and says it's a different shape and color from hers, but, you know, it still looks like an idol. Uh, and then, of course, iconic line again from Feluke. Go and win this for the girls and win this for your country. Go and win this for Beyonce. But there's more to it, because he can't steal an idol, right? Uh, Zach has a confessional with his idol and says he keeps it in a container on his bed. So the real story, uh, Feluke took Zach's roommate's necklace, who's Tristan, who's in the bottom corner there wearing the necklace, uh, now thinks that she has two idols. But because it's not a real idol, no rules have been broken. It's wild. So I think, I think if she did take the real idol, Austin would have told her, like, you can't do that, I assume. Um, I'm sure he's spoken about it somewhere, but uh, she didn't take a real idol. So she has a real idol and not a fake idol even, because it wasn't an intentionally made fake idol, just a necklace that Zach's roommate had that happened to look like an idol, which is hilarious. And Zach still has his real one and does not know that Feluca has broken into his room to steal his, uh, <laughs> his idol slash Tristan's necklace. That's a lot, I know. It's so wild. Uh, <laughs> breaking and entering in College Survivor. It, ha it has happened. Anyways, the challenge is the Survivor scavenger hunt. Just, you know, go find these locations, here are hints, that sort of deal. Uh, Hukutana wins immunity. Terry says it's probably good that they lost since they can just take out Kane. And Fluke and Victoria, they have a, a meeting and confessional about talking like, we split up all these alliances, you know, the only people left, the only alliance split up left is Eric and Marissa, but they've taken out, they split up Harry and Katie, they split up Sabrina, Eric, Marissa, I don't remember all the specific ones, but they're just, they're just high on their own supply, and they should be, they've, they've accomplished a lot this pre-merge. Um, <laughs> there's some pointless idol hunting from Terry Fluke, Victoria, and Eric, we the viewers, uh, and Feluke, <laughs> accident, anyways, we, I was trying to say no, that both idols have been found, but Feluke's knowledge is incorrect, but is in a way correct that both idols have been found, not important, um, Terry Feluke, Victoria and Eric are idol hunting, um, the only thing that comes up of this is, the, and I, th I think maybe Kane at some point, because Terry's like, well, what if Kane has an idol, maybe Eric, gave it to him, maybe he found it. So, there's something like that. He, he doesn't have an idol, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and again, we the viewers know, Zack has an idol, Fluke has an idol. There are not other idols out there to find. Uh, there are more bits of Zack and Fluke talking, not trusting each other fully. Uh, really a reoccurring theme of the pre-merge. Uh, Victoria has a confession about how Zack will want to flip on Fluke eventually, and that she's in the middle of them too, which is, you know, Always good to be in the middle. Uh, at Tribal Council, Kane talks about how he didn't vote Sabrina since they were together before and says that they all knew she had to go. Uh, and we have some Are You Nervous chatter. Will the majority stick together? Uh, Kane doesn't seem nervous, which I thought was weird. Uh, but he goes home in a three to one vote over Terry because, you know, like what else were they gonna do? Right. So, that was the pre merge. Uh, next. Next slides will all be, or next presentation will all be the post merge. But uh, pretty, pretty fun stuff. Uh, original Rafiki's looking rough. There's only Eric and Marissa, who are a very clear pair, uh, and Eric will likely be targeted as a big, a big man. Uh, <laughs> Alex has never voted correctly. It is not really with them, but the, Marissa's tried to kind of pull him in. Um, uh, R.I.P. Sabrina, and I guess everyone else. You know. It's pretty much crew. Like, Katie could have been alright. Sierra was fun and, like, getting in with the crew, trying to get in the middle, switching sides, getting voted out for it. That's all pretty cool. Um, Maria, you know, just just couldn't not vote Sabrina out. <laughs> um, 
Alex v voted for Sabrina every time. Who will he vote for in the merge? Yeah, who is Alex going to vote for in the merge? Um, Victoria is cool. She's got a lot of stuff going on. She's got Veluke. She's got Terry and Zach. She's got... I mean, I guess just them so far. <laughs> Holly through Feluke. Uh, Feluke in general. I mean, all the we've got Beyonce quotes. We've got just uh, just general hype and compliment. And we have her finding an idol. We have her breaking and entering to steal a necklace that just so happens to look like an idol. This is a very fun pre-merge between the... We had we went from a unanimous vote to a 3-2-2 on Hukatana. Rafiki was... 5-3, and then 4-3, and then... Well, I guess the Maria one was simple, but... Well, no, that was 3-3, three, three, and then it switched, so yeah, even that was like, okay. Um, and then the swap, the, the, the votes, the vote outs were kind of straightforward, but seeing the different alliances and future plans and idle nonsense come together is pretty cool, so yeah. My only complaint is that Sabrina <laughs> didn't make it through. And even then, it's like, well, you know, a few episodes of Sabrina's still great. So, yeah, uh, very fun pre-merge. I really like it. The post-merge has a lot of interesting, interesting stuff, so I'm excited to talk about that. But that's the pre-merge. Uh, I enjoyed watching it. Really enjoyed talking about it. If you watch this, go watch the whole season. What are you doing? All right. <laughs> Wrapping it up there. See you next time for the post-merge. Goodbye. <laughs>